Finding thoughts and positive energies when you're in low vibrations may make you feel better. But don't lie to yourself and think that random strangers on the internet's thoughts and prayers are going to help you. Instead, let me show you a real way to change your low vibrations. Namaste Sacred Masters, I'm Dr. Iwas Yukehi, Certified Shadow Work, NLP Manifestation Coach, and today we are going to talk about changing your low vibrations. Now, it is the universal law that we will all feel like we are in low vibes, but asking for thoughts and prayers and sending positive vibes your way is not going to help you. But if we were to understand two laws of the universe, we can use it to really change our lives around. But first, Let's talk about these low vibes and what it specifically is, so that after we define it, you will know if this video is right for you. See, in my forums I visit frequently, I see a lot of people posting about being in low vibrations and need help getting out of it. They ask for thoughts, prayers, healing energy for situations such as losing a job, losing a specific person, or even their apartment. This causes them to have anxiety and feel generally terrible emotionally. We have all experienced these sort of things. But as I said in a previous video, you're not going to find answers with people who are counting on your low vibes to sell you a product or a course. Which is why, let me turn this situation around and give you a real solution. From the most powerful person to be able to fix your low vibes feelings, yourself. We will split this solution up into two stages. So please make sure you watch the entire thing and not just one part. You will need both to work and just stay attentive to this. So you may not know where this is going to lead, but I'll explain how it all comes together at the end. First of all, let us start by talking about these low vibrations you have. We'll use this scale of consciousness chart to illustrate it. See, everybody who feels within the bottom part of this spectrum considers it to be low vibe. From the very bottom, we have shame, guilt, apathy, greed, desire, anger, pride, and eventually going up to more positive energies. Now sure, we can call them low vibrations because by definition they are placed low on the spectrum, but we also say the word low not to just describe the position of the vibrations, but we use the word low to describe feelings we don't want to have. Now let's understand this enemy better, so you have the right tools and strategies to conquer it. We always have to first look at our feelings and where do they come from. Let's go back to the very beginning. You were born a perfect sentient being. Every baby, when you look at it, is perfect. They are not only cute, but there's so much love and joy that comes from them. However, babies also have the ability to feel fear, anger, and guilt as well. Ever since the day we were born, when we cry of hunger, we are soothed and fed. This is a nice way that your primary caregiver, mom and dad, show you that low vibrations are not a good thing, because they are immediately there to feed you. As you grow older and are able to start communicating, when you show these emotions, they begin to discipline you and scold you. So what happens is that since the day you were born, you were already programmed to see these low vibrations as bad. And because of what you were taught, when they arise within you, you feel terrible. Because you learn to associate these vibrations as bad, bad, bad. Step one of getting out of low vibration is to start understanding that the feelings you have within you are not yours, but actually programmed into you by your social, tribal, and familial surroundings. So what you are actually feeling is not the real authentic you, but rather you following what others say. But I'm sure you're saying now, well, there's no way that losing a house or a spouse or money can feel good, whether programmed or not. Absolutely. But bear with me. Things will get interesting soon. Before we come back to this vibrational chart, I'm going to introduce to you two laws of the universe first. 
you're going to have to know these laws before we come back to it and change our low vibration. The universe works under 12 distinct laws. The most common one, which you have either heard of or practiced, is the law of attraction. But there are 11 other laws, and the two we will use today is the law of polarity and the law of perpetual transmutation. If you want to find out more about these other laws, you can click on the link above or on the description box below. But for this video, these two laws are the most important ones to use for now. Let's start with the law of perpetual transmutation. This law plainly states that energy can neither be created or destroyed. It changes from one state to another, transmuting in and out of form. When you understand this law, you know what I mean when I say thoughts and prayers do not work. There's no harm in asking for them because it feels good to know others care for us. Just know that it will do nothing for you. Trying to destroy your low vibes is similar to just putting on rose-colored glasses and ignoring the situation. And the more you tell yourself that good things are coming, the more rose-colored glasses you put on, the more the situation will get worse and worse. You're just lying to yourself. Instead, based upon this law, the only solution is to transmute this energy from low vibes to high vibrations, which I'm going to show you how in a bit because you need to understand the law of polarity first. What the law of polarity states is that everything has two poles, positive and negative, love and hate, good and evil, attraction and disconnection. You cannot have one without the other. Once you accept it, you can stop beating yourself in your head and wondering why is bad things happening to you now. It is the law of the universe and you cannot change that. So once you accept that low vibrations exist with high vibrations, let's go back to our chart now and see how we can take what we learn and transmute this energy. So a lot of you will look at this scale of consciousness and see low vibrations as undesirable and high vibrations as desirable. We know that this is due to our social conditioning and with the law of polarity at work, we see this as good and the bottom part as bad. But now we have to reprogram ourselves. Instead of seeing high vibrations as good, let's see it as giving. And low vibrations, we see it as creating. Let me explain. When we see low vibrations, our first instinct is to get rid of it and run far away from it as possible. For others, they try to get rid of these low vibrations by lashing out at others such as yelling and screaming when you're angry, shutting down when you feel shame, etc. This is why shadow work is important. Because we know from both the law of polarity and perpetual transmutation, the problem will never go away. So what we need to do is sit with it and accept it. We need to ask ourselves, why do low vibrations exist? The universe doesn't put this into our consciousness for no reason. And there is an amazing reason for that, and it's called creation. You see, everything in the universe that creates joy, success, and love has to come from the low vibration. We have to use low vibrations to create high vibrations. Think about it. Everyone who is successful usually creates their success from a place of low vibrations. Just think about every country music. Even comedians. Strip away the humor and you will find their material based upon things that happen to them that are undesirable. Slapstick comedy comes from intentional violence and violence by mishaps. Even romantic comedies are incomplete without the breakup scene that happens about three quarters way into the movie. Even technology grows because creators are able to find a need from low vibrations and fulfill it. The creators who understand what loneliness is create a video platform for singles to post videos on their profiles to attract dates. No, this is not a dating website. In fact, this website grew to become YouTube. Yes, YouTube started out as a video dating platform. When you begin to realize that low vibrations are opportunities instead of undesirable, you are on your way to becoming a powerful sacred master. Thus, instead of seeing it as that, we transmutate this low vibrations into creation. For your shadow work, ask yourself, what can you create? What is the universe telling you that 
you need to do. What is it clearing up for you? Remember, social conditioning makes you think you're falling apart, but the universe sees it as you becoming, becoming something. You can either use this opportunity or remain stuck in the rut wondering why all bad things are happening to you now. Now you have been given this knowledge, you can choose to use it or not. So let's talk about high vibrations. Once you reach the high vibrations, you need to be in a giving mindset. Have love? Share it. Have peace? Share it. Have joy? Share it. Why? Because the law of polarity states that for every good there is a bad. So why not share it? Don't hoard high vibrations for yourself because the opposite will come to you and come to you hard. That's why many gurus and masters teach you that by giving, you receive more. They just don't say that it's the law of polarity at work. So, with your shadow work journal today, ask yourself, what can you create? What are you becoming? Nothing is happening to you. Instead, you are becoming something. Really sit there and see if you can look deep down into your situation and find out what the universe is letting you become. Lost a spouse? What opportunities are waiting for you? A house? A bigger one coming? Money? Are you clearing out bad negative energies of money? And money with good energies is coming? I can't give you the answers to your questions. Only you can. You just have to take that power. You have to be able to be brave and courageous enough to sit with your emotions and low vibrations and begin to create. When you create, you become. If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. But I want you to also help your fellow sacred masters with something. I want you to think about a time when you thought something bad happened to you. But it turns out that the universe took it from you so you could have something better. Whether it's a relationship or money or job, comment below. Encourage others below to show you've been through it and how it turned out in a way you never thought before. After you do that, read your comment carefully and remind yourself, I remember when I didn't have faith and it's just the same thing happening now. Start being excited. Something is happening to you. You just don't know what yet. If you are excited about this opportunity looking at you in the face now, wait till you watch this video on how to manifest during low vibration. Yes, you can do it. Even though you've been told to manifest during high vibes, you can manifest with low vibes too. In fact, you are always manifesting. I'll show you how. Click the link.